Welcome to the OBAT Virtual Conference 2021 Forward. My name is Najarit Edward Smith, the Scholarship Program Director here at OBAP. Working alongside the Scholarship Review Team, we've created four tips that we think can help you create a standout scholarship application. My name is Michael Ponce. I'm the Assistant Director of the Scholarship Program here at OBAP. One of the ways that you can help support OBAP's mission of transforming, educating, and mentoring those in our community is through volunteer work. Please be sure to highlight any prior volunteer experience and ensure that this is part of your scholarship application. Through volunteering, we have the ability to empower and inspire those who would like to follow in our footsteps as we complete our journey. Giving back and being a part of the community are core to OBAP's values. Please be sure to elaborate on your experience as this gives us a clear understanding of who you are when we review your scholarship application. Hello, my name is Jesse Elliott and I am a scholarship reviewer for OBAP. The tip that I want to talk to you about today is when you're filling out your application, be sure to complete it in its entirety. And this may sound like a really, really obvious point for us to make, but we actually get many applications that have gaps in them, and this leaves us guessing about the applicant. So, on your application, Anytime you have a drop-down menu, be sure to always make a selection. Anytime you have a text box, be sure to always type something in there, even if sometimes you type the words not applicable because the question doesn't apply to you. You should look at those text boxes as opportunities to tell us even more about yourself. Tell us what sets your application apart from all of the others that we're going to be seeing throughout the day. When you fill your application out in its entirety, that does two things for the scholarship reviewers. The first thing it does is it makes it easier and quicker for us to learn everything that we need to know about you and everything that sets you apart from the rest. Instead of having us hunt down the information in your letters of recommendation or in your attachments. The second thing it does for us is it shows us that you have an attention to detail and it shows us that you put time and effort into your application. This alone may make your application stand apart from the rest. Just remember that we're trying to get to know you in this application and there's nothing too big or too small that you can put on there. Tell us everything possible about yourself that you would want us to know to make this decision, that you would want to stand out from all the other applications. Additionally, it may be a great idea to submit a fact sheet to the person you are requesting a letter of recommendation from. Not only does a fact sheet highlight your accomplishments and anything that you'd want us to know, but it gives the person writing the letter of recommendation a much clearer picture of what it is that you want communicated to the team. Read the essay, prompts, and the questions again, and then read your essay to be certain that your essay addresses each and every point. Check for grammar, subject-verb agreement, as well as the syntax, even reading it out loud. Make sure your grammar and spelling are impeccable by using the spelling and grammar check tool in your word processor of your choice. Try printing your essay out to get another perspective on how it reads. Typos that you skim by on the screen might pop out to you on paper. Ask your parent, teacher, tutor, or friends to proofread your essay. This will help ensure that your essay tells a story and answers your prompts. Good luck, and we look forward to seeing your essay and scholarship application in the portal soon.